So you've shot your movie or your video and maybe it was inspired by the greatness that is hot fuzz like the intro to this video. But now it's time to take that footage and make it look great in post. And if you're shooting with log, Filmic Pro Log or Moment Log or any kind of log for that matter, then you're probably using LUTs. You may not realize that you can control the intensity of the LUTs you're using though. So now in part two of this video, we're going to look at doing this in DaVinci Resolve and LumaFusion. Okay, I'm in DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve has become pretty popular. There's a free version of this software and it's really powerful. So I'm not doing a full tutorial here. I'm just going to show you how to control the intensity of a LUT, but this is software that you really might consider checking out. So in DaVinci, you use nodes, and I've already added a node that I'm going to apply my LUT to, and I've already installed the LUTs. So now the LUT's on there. And you can turn it off and turn it back on, on and off. And I didn't know how to do this for quite a while, but if you go down to the bottom here and you click on key, now you go to key output and you can adjust the gain. And here is where you can control the intensity or the strength of the LUT. So you can take it down and then you can take it back up. Now again, unlike in Premiere, Premiere is unique because you can add more intensity to it and it actually adds more of the LUT. In Final Cut and then in Resolve, I'm not able to add more of the LUT without making a duplicate and putting it on. But that's not really necessary anyway because you can just do that through color grading. But again, being able to control the intensity of the LUT is a really great feature. Every shot's different, and so this shot, the LUT looks good at about 100%, but other times the footage may be lower light or more crunchy, and you wouldn't need the full intensity of the LUT. So adjusting the key output gain is the way to do that in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, now I'm in Luma Fusion, and this is a popular mobile editing platform. If you're used to desktop stuff, you may not have ever tried Luma Fusion, but this is an iOS only, but it's a great app for using on your iPad or your iPhone, especially if you have an iPad Pro, by the way. But I've got the same clip in here, and it kind of works the same as the other ones, only here you have just a little bit different controls. So I'll go into Edit. And then it comes up with a new window and you've got color presets here but then at the top you've got this LUT icon you hit the LUTs and you've got some LUTs I've already got some LUTs in here I'm going to use one of our LUTs it's just again it's a rec 709 utility type LUT and so just like that it's applied and this is a 4k clip playing back in real time with that LUT and then again here instead of it being called mix or it being called intensity it's called blend and so you can just control the blend of the LUT. All the way down at zero is full on. And then bring it up to one would bring it back to the original look. Again, it just depends on the footage and the LUT you're using, but being able to control that is really nice. So that's how you control the intensity or the blend of LUTs in LumaFusion. And so just for fun, I'll do a quick color grade here and speed this footage up. So there's the original, there's the LUT, and then there's some grading applied. And add a little vignette just to give it a little extra punch. So you can do quite a bit in LumaFusion. But regardless of which app you're using, the ability to control the intensity of the LUT is really important. So always keep that in mind. And as a reminder, our LUT packs work with Filmic Pro Log version one and Log version two. And additionally, they work with Moment Log and Moment Flat. You would just apply the LUTs at different intensities as I was showing here. So if you're interested in our LUT packs, I'll put a link in the description.
Thanks for watching, guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.